Hello Survivors, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. So I made my way back to downtown because I wanted to try out a new <laughs> mod, or rather, a patch made by somebody in my community, uh, the Broverseer, who is also a content creator, by the way. You should definitely check out his channel. I'll have a link down below. And, um, well, uh, he made a mod that basically patches uh, the old version of Simplified Sorting, which gives you this very, very nice uh, iconed uh, layout. It looks really, really good. And it gives you better sorting in your inventory as well. Uh, if you check on aid here, now everything is nicely organized. So all your chems and cures are in one spot. It's space bar to go back, your food and drinks in one spot. Uh, if I have more food and drink in there, you'd be able to see more stuff. Like uh, if I have, for example, uh, let's see here, some water, other Nuka-Cola, um, beer, stuff like that. That'll all be organized now. So much better than before. Before it was just kind of all uh, out here. And the most commonly used things like, I think, Radex, Radaway, and Stimpax, and uh, Purified Water are actually out here in the open for you to quickly get to if you want to use them quickly. So it's really, really great. Definitely recommend. Uh, I think he is working on putting that up on Nexus mods. And, um, yeah, should have install instructions and stuff for it. Um, if you're using my setup, there is a specific thing you have to do, which is you need to make sure you turn off Fall UI's item sorter. Um, and if you need to do that, you'll have to reinstall it if you've re if you've installed it previously. So make sure that's done. And other thing is that if you load this in the middle of a playthrough, you might see items like this that don't have the proper uh, icons next to them. If that happens, just take the icons, or take the, the items rather, drop them on the ground, and pick them back up. And there you go. Now they're all properly uh, iconed or whatever. I'm not sure what you'd call that. They're properly tagged with the right uh, things that make them iconed. So if anything like that, if you have any issues like that, just drop them on the floor, pick them back up. So yeah, now we've got like, like these right here. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, not take all. I'm going to go ahead and drop these all in here real quick. And grab all the stuff that is not iconed. And drop it on the floor and probably lose it all. And then pick it all back up. Should get my lantern out so I can actually see things. These need to go too. There we go, now I can see. And uh, yeah, then just drop them back in. These two need to have that done still. All this stuff should get the proper icons as well. Some uh, certain things like the survival kit, which is uh, added by a custom mod, will not be tagged properly, but everything that's like in the, the game by default, you know, notes, um, mods, they're all tagged properly. Um, so this is, uh, this is a, a bunch of different people's work put together. It is Flunder's uh, Icon Library and his Simplified Sorting Mod, and then um, the new loadout for Frost, and then uh, what makes it all work together with the new loadout is uh, the Broverseer, his, his patch. So awesome job, everybody. That's really, really cool. I'm very, very happy that we have that all together now, and we can all benefit from that. So, let me dump this back in. Obviously, I still have the infection. Did I not drop those? Okay, these two are not getting tagged properly for whatever reason. Uh, it might be because they're, they're named incorrectly. That could be it. Uh, let's see here. I wonder if I modify something. No, I didn't do it. Um, it's got the marks. It's called Marksman's Marksman's. Um, what if I do rename? Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, this is excellent. So you can actually, you, you can see the, the code you need to put in for the proper name on it. That is freaking awesome. Okay. So this is a Marksman's handmade rifle, right? I guess you can't highlight. Oh, wait, I guess you can. Marksman's handmade rifle. And I'm going to put the proper tag in here, which is going to be the AK tag here. 
and enter. And look at that, it's fixed. Same thing for this one, let's rename this one. And we'll put in, at the start here, the AK tank. Let me find it again. There it is. Enter for accept, and there we go, now they're fixed. So yeah, there's there's how you fix it if you, if it's not automatically adding it properly. You can also sort by the different types of uh, weapons and stuff. It's really, really cool. Really, really cool mod. And uh, big thanks to everyone who has worked on those and that we now have it working again the newest version of Frost. So that's really great. Um, okay, so this is busted. Let's put that back. Don't need that. Don't need these. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be checking out the doctor. Uh, there's a woman called a doctor in downtown, but I don't think that she actually is a doctor. I think the doctor, I've heard you have to do a quest line um, in order to unlock the doctor's office in downtown. So I don't think we can actually make use of that yet. Which is unfortunate because, uh, you know, I, uh, I'm kind of infected and it's really, really a big deal. So, I'm debating whether I want to try to raid a hospital to get the meds that I need to get an uh, uh, antibiotic. Or if I want to try to do the quest line and just get healed that way. I'll probably just raid the, uh, the place over there and hope for the best. Let me get some more booze out here. We'll take a purified water with us. Stealth boy. Drop our money in there for now. Don't need it. Um, drop off all of our junk. Handcuffs are not junk. They're actually useful for um, using the freeze mod to, like, handcuff people. But I won't be doing that anytime super soon. I don't need any of these. I'm going to take my, uh, my combat sniper rifle. This is way better. I did ask um, in the Frost Discord, by the way, about why this is so superior, or why these are so nerfed anyway, why the uh, the handmaid's been nerfed. And the reason, I guess, is because uh, there's an issue with the handmaid. Why am I still so heavy, by the way? Anyway, the issue with the handmaid is that it does way too much, uh, or it has way too much accuracy for like the base game. Like it just has way higher accuracy than anything else in the base game. And uh, even without any perks in Frost, it's very, very accurate. And so because it was so deadly accurate, even uh, hip firing or with iron sights, uh, they kind of they kind of felt that it was just too powerful, basically. Um, so they nerfed the damage on it to compensate for that. So that is why it's not uh, like the best rifle anymore, the best ballistic rifle. Sway's two. I don't know that I'll actually uh, use that in the field in the immediate future, so I'll drop it for now. I guess these weigh a bit too. They're like one each, yeah. Makes sense. Stealth Boy is one as well. Okay. Let's get some water and stuff. Our character is really thirsty. Need some booze too. You almost done there? Steel parched. And I do have a bandage running, right? No, let me get that bandage going again. Because we are losing some health there. We'll heal up whenever we sleep for the night. It is pretty late. Uh, I think I was messing around with this stuff. Oh, I have a perk available too. Uh, I don't even know what I want at this point. Um, let's untick the ineligible stuff, and let's just do the, the regular special stuff. Want to take a look here. So, Warrior Monk, we're going to want that pretty quickly, but I only care about this in the later versions of it. Um, right, Thorazine grants 50 sanity, and um, Chem's grant 50 50% 50 more, 50 more sanity. Uh, level 31, I guess, or level 18 is about when I care about that. Whenever I get some Thorazine I have, I'm level 18, I'll care about that. But until then, it's whatever. I don't care too much. Uh, the explosive, the duck and cover perk, um, I want to get that pretty quickly. Let me actually filter for just perception perks, which is where that's at. That's at um, perception 5, unfortunately. I only gave my character 4, didn't think about this perk. I do want this. Um... 25% less explosive damage, 
Now, I did clarify with Red over in the Discord, by the way, that... Sorry if that's annoying, by the way, the explosion sound. I did clarify that this works even if you're if you're found. Like, if you just hit crouch before a grenade goes off, it'll reduce the damage. So, like, if a, if a grenade is about to blow up at your feet and you can't get out of it, if you just crouch when you have, like, the level 4, 34 version, rank 4, it'll do 95% less damage and you'll probably survive that grenade. So, yeah, pretty damn cool. But uh, we gotta get perception for that. We can get a, a bobblehead, so I don't really want to spend the point on it right now. Nothing wrong with just hoarding my points either. Like, that's a totally valid thing to do. Let me check luck as well. There's also the uh, bloody mess perk, which 5% more damage. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like, 5% more damage is 5% more damage. That could be the difference between a kill and not. Especially when you get the higher perks of this, higher levels. But I think I might just wait and hold on to this because I want to make sure I get some other points later on. Nothing wrong with holding on to your points for a bit. Alright, don't have my lantern on. Okay, so yeah. I'll check this doctor real quick, but again, I don't think that uh, they're actually a doctor. I think you have to do a quest line first. Or maybe they are the doctor, but you have to go and uh, do a quest so to far, open so their their place up over here. It's locked. Got plenty to sell if you're interested. Hello. Need something? Have you heard anything about insurance? Yeah, she just keeps asking about insurance. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. There's not going anywhere. Okay. That's fine. All right, so yeah, it doesn't work. Um you have to do the quest to unlock her, I think, and then she will yeah. probably move and open up shop in here and the quest for that by the way i've been i've been told starts with the guy that uh told me that i was a dump ass that i needed to take off my mask uh he will start a quest line for the federation apparently and that's part of the frost plus mod so i to be doing that but yeah it's uh super late i need to cook some stuff make some food of some sort that's like all we have oh we have insta mash too you're looking for something. Alright, let me get some food here. Still hungry, yep. Okay, we're properly fed. I can get to properly hydrated too. With some water here. Let's do that. Okay, we're good. And now we're going to sleep for the night. And sleeping, um, again, it will heal us. Now, unfortunately, we are going to lose more and more health over time. I think unless... I'm pretty sure the bandage heals you on a percentage base. Unless we perhaps... Um, no, we didn't get rid of our infection. We're still, we're still infected. Um... Let me grab my stuff here real quick. Want my combat sniper rifle. Got my ammo. I have plenty of bandages. I mean, it's as good as I can do. Wonder if Medex... Probably not. Probably not. I don't think Medex reduces the damage taken by infection. Okay, but that's that's good. We're in good shape for now. Welcome back. Nice to see. You. See, I think that badges heal you based on a percentage of your health over time, and I think because the buff out was boosting my health before, that the bandage was healing for more, um, and that was able to keep up with the damage, the periodic damage of the infection, which I think the periodic damage of the infection might just be static. I'm not sure though. I don't know. This is me guessing pretty much. So it could could not be like that. Take one of each of those. Uh, I'll take the military fatigues or maybe those give you two agility. I'd rather have 
army fatigues, which give you one strength, one agility, but that's fine. Two agility is fine, too. And that's going to be about all. Actually, I should take some radex and stuff, just in case. I don't know if I'll need any, but I mean... Wait, I have some radex. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, that's going to be it. Oh, and our, uh, our fusion core. That'll be... Oh, I forgot to put on my... Uh, a military thing. Whatever. It's not a big deal. So yeah, we have to go and get healed. Um, let's get that bandage going. Oops. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes the spacebar doesn't work whenever you go into it. I think it's like you go into it too quick and it doesn't work. But yeah, like, that bandage I don't think will, will heal me up fully before the next tick of infection hits if I don't have enhanced health through buff out or something. It seems like the buff out ha giving me more health um, allows the bandage to keep up. So I may end up like popping buff out just to get the extra healing if I can't get um, antibiotics pretty quickly here. Hope that makes sense. I didn't bring a melee weapon either. Really should have done that. Oh well, um, you know, it is what it is. We're only going to be facing, uh, like, gunner-type enemies, so it's not, it's not that big of a deal. Did I already, uh, no, I haven't gone to Opal yet, I haven't checked her out yet, so there's some free stuff down here too we can grab. None of it is, uh, stealing, so it should be... Don't think I can Fine. Are a couple of trip wires there? But yeah, we can just sell all this stuff as well as a, dub, uh, a double barreled shotgun. Notice that the tags were not applied yet there, but it should have applied as soon as I picked it up. Since it was sitting out in the world, you know, it's like when you pick it up, the uh, the mod tags it for you. Oh look, Opal has a nice little uh, shack now. Hey. Name's Opal. You got caps, I got goods. Don't be an idiot and we'll get along fine. Sure. Let's take a look. Alright. Oh, you have a dick doll, but you don't have... You don't have any, uh... Antibiotics, unfortunately. I'll check Slim, too. Let me see what she has as far as weapons go. Because she can have some really good stuff, but... This is all pretty crappy. I think I need too much here. I will sell her all of this stuff. Because, hey, it's free caps, you know? Free cash, not caps. There, there are, there is no... There aren't no caps. Caps aren't a thing yet. She does have some stim packs. You know, as expensive as these are, they may end up saving my life. Um, And I, I hate buying them, but, you know, caps are not going to be an issue later on. They just aren't. And uh, having a stim pack or two, or even three, I know it's a lot of our money, but, you know, the name of the game is survival, right? That's what matters is surviving, and this is going to be a tough period. I'm going to have to really... I don't even know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough, guys. It's going to be tough. If I, if I was flush with caps, I'd just buy the uh, Mentats and stuff, too, for the eventual Sandy gain. But, because um, you want to buy her out and that stuff every time she refreshes. The... Uh, corn here is not bad. 20 for uh, roasted corn. It's pretty good. The bobby pins are super cheap. I'm going to buy those too. Abraxo is also good. You can make this into uh, Mentats. But we'll find play that later on. What other junk do you have here? I might peruse her junk a bit more in depth later on. But for now, I think we're good. Uh, 45 rounds. She has a lot of 45 rounds. They are quite expensive though. 67 per. It's kind of a lot. If I were to sell them, I'd only get six per wow. So the the markup, the markup is pretty severe. So buying one is 67 caps. Selling one is six caps. That is, that's crazy markup. So it's like 11 times markup. Ooh, man, steep prices. Don't want this thing. I guess it didn't apply it. Didn't apply a thing. I guess you have to drop it on the ground. 
not loot it from the uh, open world trap thing it was in. But okay, that'll do for now. That'll do. So yeah, now we got some stim packs if we need them. That's good. So, uh, we're gonna be going kind of over here, I think. That light flick. Oh, it's because of the, uh, low survivor. Killed you, too. I'll kill all of you. If I missed him twice. What are you shooting at over there, dude? Turret over there, huh? Protector and watcher. I don't really want to tangle with you. Pipe bomb. Um, I can sell all this stuff to Opal real quick. Make back some of my caps. Ooh, cow meat times three. That's really good. Where's this turret at you're shooting at? Oh, it's that one, right? Level up. I'll take it. Hey. That was too much. Uh, probably the armor is way too much. This is really crappy. I have to... Um, I have to go and change my Pip-Boy... Hold on. I have to change my Pip-Boy colors. Yeah, Pip-Boy color. I guess it is already... But it gets overwritten by Fallout UI. Hmm, it's kind of unfortunate. Like, I have to use Fallout UI to get everything else working. I guess I'll just have to deal with this uh, really crappy, hard-to-read thing. Sorry, guys. No, you're not going to be in love with that. It's probably only like this whenever I'm in the uh, power armor. I don't know. But yeah, I don't want to... I want to drop some stuff here. Um... Cage armor. It's worth 90. Probably only worth like 9, though. Waste 27. Shit's got ambush all over it. Okay, so let me go up here and grab the uh, the freebies. Excuse me? Is that car about to explode? Federation Elite Fatigues. Good junk there. Some good freebies here. But again, this stuff is... There's a lot of freebies here, actually. Alright, tell you what we'll do. God, that scared the shit out of me. I knew it was far away enough that it wouldn't be a big deal, but it still scared the crap out of me. Probably keep that super sledge around just so I have a melee weapon. Or maybe I won't. It does weigh 12. I don't know. I'll think about it. This thing's not very good. I wish I had this inventory, like, all the time. That'd be ideal. Who's there? Someone there? Give me that leg. Oh, okay, a giblet will do. A giblet will work. It'd be, like, really convenient if one of you guys had a, uh, a bandage on you. I do have a bandage still going, right? Yeah, we're good. I mean, gonna have to do something about that eventually, but... Where'd my giblet go? There it is. Tire iron might be better. Yeah, I'll probably do the tire iron instead. Yeah, we'll just use those. That's cool. Okay, is it everybody? Yeah. Yeah, it's everybody. Because that was the survivor. Yeah, so we're just going to haul this over. Oh, there's another guy here. There's a little uh, burnout house over there, a bit a bit down that... Uh... Oh, that's a Mr. Gutsy. The Protectron, I... 
feel more comfortable killing, but the Mr. Gutsy, those can be real dangerous in Frost. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna... We're gonna haul our giblet up the stairs over here. Take it to Opal. Please don't go flying somewhere. My giblet. I need to get stuff off you to sell to Opal. I really don't want to take any, uh... Any damage, though. By carrying too much stuff. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have you stim pack. Right here. Yeah, yeah. I'll take a look. Sure. Okay. Now this stuff is particularly good. Agent perception is not bad. Weathered outfit. I haven't seen that before. Must be new. I could just sell these two. Does all the ammo? No, shotgun shells sell for nine. Okay, so different ammos have different prices. I was curious about that too. Okay, is that everything I want to sell? Pretty sure that's everything. We got, like, most of our money back, actually. You know... Well, I already bought all of our stim packs, I guess. Let's see, I'll buy the other one, too, but I guess I already bought it. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna drop my tire iron and pick it back up. Oh, shit. Fell through the stairs. Is it over here? That fix it? Yeah, there we go. Now it's fixed. Okay, tire iron. There we go. That on too if I need an explosive. Okay, we do have bandage going. We do. It's not really helping that much, unfortunately. Okay, so we gotta kind of go east, I think, a bit. Or sorry, west. Wanderer is not good at directions. Wanderer is taking many rads. Well, I know you're here. I'll find you. Not gonna lie, I felt pretty badass there. That was pretty good. So I think anything that's been spawned already in the world is gonna have the incorrect tags. Uh, which means like the cells I've already been to are gonna have incorrect tags. You know, the, the world in Fallout 4 is like divided into different cells, okay? So the cells I've been to will be incorrect. <laughs> But the cells I haven't been to will be correct. Um, this is not where I want to go. This is like an apartment building. I want to wait till the next tick to use my uh, stim pack. I wonder if any of this in the booze would give me. Uh, nah, no endurance, fortunately. Okay, so yeah, we want to go kind of down through this way. I know you're somewhere over there, Survivor. That was a nice shot. I gotta say, I gotta pat myself on the back. That was a good shot. Come on. There we go, got him. All 
a random cow. Okay, now we'll use a stim pack. Um, yeah, stim pack. Boy, that is not a lot of healing. That is really not a lot of healing. For what I was expecting there. We're gonna be thirsty and hungry now. If I drink Nuka Cola, I'm just gonna be even more thirsty. I know where this is. I think. Okay, there goes the first fusion core. It's fine. I think it's everybody. Should be three kills here. You can fuck right off, light. Yeah, I think I killed at least three people here. Oh, this is the outside of Postal Square. Okay. There we go. There's all of them. I can sell all that stuff for a decent amount. Probably will drop it later, but, you know, we'll see. Um... Just gonna dome this cow real quick. Get the meat. Wrong way. Need to go more west. <laughs> Fuck you, infection, man. I guess I can go ahead and use a stim pack then. I'm gonna go ahead and use some buff out too, and see if that helps with, um... the bandage healing? I want to see if it, like, increases the overall healing amount. Don't think he can get to me. Okay, this is gonna be mutant territory. Which means ghouls. Which means you spin me right round. Oh my god. That's hilarious. That was the ghoul spin, guys. Thanks a whole bunch for that. Some glowing blood packs would be nice. You can make those out of the uh, glowing blood from those guys. It's really, really good healing. Alright, uh, this is hub 360, right? I keep going east. Here's someone walking. But I am... I'm gonna ignore it for now. I, I can't... I can't be tracking down every single little sound I hear everywhere, you know? It's just, uh... There's nothing there. Okay. This is like a random event, isn't it? This, uh... God, 
that ghoul scared me. There's no... Just making sure there's no explosive on this, right? No, we're good. We can open this. This is like a random event safe, isn't it? You find these randomly, occasionally? Come on. Nice. Alright, so... Like down there should be it. Right there, actually. I, I see a hospital right there on the the compass. I'm not sure if that's... Uh, was that default in Frost? Was that a thing? I know like in survival you don't see those as, as easily. I'm pretty sure that buff out is increasing our healing, guys. Alright, some ferals over here. Do like almost no damage to you with even a very, very small amount of armor. Do almost no damage to you. Okay, so. Is this, um. It's gotta be the hospital up here. Alliance Volunteer. Okay, that's that's uh, Outpost 19. Yes, this is it. I'm almost positive this is uh, this is where I was thinking of. Right, it's gonna be a survivor over here. There was a survivor over there. Man, you cannot hardly see with that fog. I'm gonna pop another stim pack. Those things are fucking dangerous, man. Let me tell ya. This thing I can take some hits from. But that's it's gone. Fuck me! Well, I didn't die at least. Jesus Christ. Oh, level up. Oh. Oh, thank you, level up. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, I can't carry that it's too much. Alright, we gotta loot this shit and get in there. There'll be more guys in here. There's mines in here as well. I gotta be careful of that. Things too heavy, I think. Not gonna be able to carry it. The pistols aren't too bad. They're worth quite a bit per, you know, for the weight. They're not too bad. Dirty armor fatigues are, are good too. I'll take that. Okay. Um, right. Let's get in here and, and get our, our stuff. That level up was a lifesaver. Um, it looks like my leg took some major damage. Well, you had some good stuff, didn't you? 
Buff out wore off as well. I'm going to go ahead and use another one. In fact, I'll use some Psycho Buff. Sandy lost, though. Minus three. What am I at? Oh, God. I'm so low. But that's without alcohol, right? It's without alcohol. I am going to kill a lot of people in here, though. I do have... No, I don't have any. Never mind. Okay, buff out is not a sanity loss, so I'll go ahead and... Do, but then I'm going to be low on... Uh, on water. Like, I'm already super low on water. I'm going to start taking water damage. Okay, so no, I'm not I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it as is for now. I just want to get the... Um, the turret up here. That I killed. Yeah, I just want that. Okay. And I'll drop something else here. This is not worth carrying. Okay, so we can go in the front. Um, I think there's a trap door too, but I uh, I got I just got to get in here and get my get my stuff, guys. I got to get the antibiotics like as as soon as possible, or I'm just gonna die. So uh, yep, yeah, in we go. I should get some jet bound too, although jet's gonna make me more thirsty. Okay, jet's on four. Maybe at least one guy up top. Several downstairs, too. Almost didn't see you back there, buddy. Stop. Shit. Turn around. Leave. Shit. Restricted. Where's your, uh, there we go. I don't think there's anything in here. There's some food and stuff, maybe. Yeah, there's some food and stuff in here. I'll get that later. I gotta get, first and foremost, I gotta get the, uh, antibiotics. but without dying, you know? I know there's a freaking mine around here somewhere. I have gone insane. <laughs> Wonderful. Whiskey saved me. But now I'm really thirsty. The trip it's down below. Okay, there should be Checking prices on these. Right, there should be some med cases in here. Yeah, there's one. Please. Oh! Oh, thank God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. All right.
Right now, I am more thirsty than I am hungry. The thirst is a bigger deal. Dr. K, I'll operate on whoever I damn well please. He's no different than Daly or Daly. He deserves another chance at life. Anyone that disturbs this patient will have more than my scalpel to worry about. All right, so that's talking about... They, there was a soldier here that uh, they were saying don't operate him on him because... You know, soldier's bad to Jackie. What the hell are we doing wasting meds on the green coat? His kind is the reason for all this. You perform that operation, you're out of here. They're going to kick her out. Basically. Nothing in there. Oh, God, that's such a relief. I cannot even tell you guys. I was really worried. All right, do we have bandage going still? Yeah, we do. So we'll heal over time here. All right, guys. Well, we're out of the worst of the trouble here, but uh, I still want to loot through this place and um, get everything that's worth value in here. There's a bunch more uh, medical supplies we can get, but I think we're going to be doing that in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.